Hey, we're back here at the CNET booth, and right now we're going to go check out Danny DeVito and uh, see what he's going to say. Thank you for tuning in to the 404 show. Woo! We're not used to a 404 so we're my, my name is Jeff Bagalar. I'm Justin Yu. We are CNET's daily tech show at the intersection of pop culture and technology. Justin, where, tell these people where they can find our show. Find us everywhere online. You can go to the404.cnet.com for all of our daily shows, all the links we talk about, the stories. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Ashley Madison if you're feeling nasty. Most importantly, let us get to our very special guest. He's a legendary star who's appeared in, directed, and produced countless classic films. And most recently starring as Frank Reynolds, one of our personal favorite shows. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome. Southern California. Nobody's like perfect. Dallas, like Southern California. Way Southern. Not Northern California. No, no, no. Where are we? Well, right now we're in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, how about that? How long you been here? I know. It's, it's <laughs> like that. I like that. Big time. It's a big time. <laughs> good. How, uh, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing really good. I just got here. Really excited to be here. Love technology. Love the fact that you guys are sitting there with computers in front of you. Do you appreciate that? I do. Yeah. I don't know how to work them because I was born before 1966. Right. Anybody after 66, stay away. It's dangerous. <laughs> you seem to have figured it out pretty well, though, uh, especially with uh, your Twitter presence. Yes. Well, I'm only kidding. I really love it. Uh, you know, from the time it started with the computers and everything, I was like, you know, even though it, it was like hitting me myself over the head with a hammer, I tried to like, you know, do it. Yeah. And now I'm, 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 I, I, I really dig it. And I do go. I I have a Twitter page, it's Danny DeVito, that's very unique Twitter we've name. Heard, we've heard about that. Can we, yeah. can we bring that up? Because we we got to talk about something going on on your Twitter uh, profile. Specifically your Twitter uh, photo. We want your to talk photo. about your profile. Can we Where bring is, that up on the screen, the actual photo? There you yeah. go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Here's the thing about that. <laughs> well, first, okay. well, first of all, what happened? this is like, well, in here a little bit technically impaired. Right. You don't know how to turn the picture but, around. But so I took the picture with the photo booth right on right. the it's on the computer. Right. You almost look like and I took the thing up. I wanted people to know what is what's the that's the picture. Oh, oh, wait, we the picture back up? Yeah what does it say on the card? Anyway I wrote something on the card. Right. What does it say? Oh it says Twitter, Twitter. it's hard to read. It's the it's the address to find Twitter.com Danny. Yeah Danny. So I just wanted people to know that you know you got to authenticate some way, sure. right? I, and uh, you know I didn't take time to put a shirt on. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what, what I do have underwear on. <laughs> very very brief. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was, and that was it. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know it, it's been fun. I've been doing it for a couple of years. And uh, my first tweet ever was, uh, "My balls are on fire." <laughs> And, and uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, because uh, you know, you want to kind of break the ice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so, and then I started uh, when we did our sunny, it's always sunny Philadelphia live show, uh, which Charlie in the show wrote a show, and because he wanted to get close to the waitress, we insinuated ourselves. I don't know if you saw it, yeah. and we did a live show, you know, and uh, in the show I played a troll. Yes. So we were on the road, and one day I just said, you know, there, right there next to you is the, is the foot. So I called it Troll Foot. And I started taking pictures. Yeah. Did you have to take the boys so, Oh, yeah, you got to. I've learned a Pole. Pole. Soul. 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 No, you didn't play soul. <laughs> I've learned a lot about you through the troll feed pictures, too. I mean, it's kind of a reflection of how your day is going. Yes. You know, what you're up to every now day. Now is uh, Noam Chomsky. I was listening to Noam. I, yeah. A big fan of his. And, uh, there's lots of uh, really cool uh, pictures. Uh, some people give me flack about the manicure because I don't care about it. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of play for right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't help but notice that you're also wearing a pair of Crocs right now. Yes. Easy I'm access to the troll yeah, foot. I do have socks on. Oh, okay. But I can, but that's are like gonna, really have a troll easy to get on. <laughs> <troll, laughs> <troll thing. laughs> <laughs> so you, 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 the idea is that you have to have easy access to the foot. <laughs> because you never Why know when there's going to be, when there's oh. gonna be a good picture to take. Right. So is this once in a while? We're going to see an actual troll foot? Well, the thing about it is, it's like, you know, like I say, is there any way to s shut Siri up? <laughs> no? <laughs> you, can't, she just, you, get, you get her, and I say to it, I say, will you stop asking me questions? And she goes, I'm just, and she quotes Hal. <laughs> from, from, from 2001. <laughs> you know, something... It's a friend, he's a friend of hers. So... That's what I do, basically. I take a live troll foot demo right well, now. I'll give you a picture. Yes, oh, is that what's happening? All right. All right so, so now, in order to do this right, you have to get up. Okay. And you have to go on the audience side of this bench. Okay. Can okay. you? I don't know. I'm is, there a is there a ledge for them to stand on? Is, is go it? over there and duck down. Uh, yeah. Because I need to take a picture okay. of the audience. Okay. Because it does not Because you two jump. You. you go that way. All right. I'll go this way. Can you listen to me or what? Wait. Okay, you go over there. All right. Oh, go on, go on. All right. So, let me see. Ah, this is good. This is good. You see? Now, I'm not going to get that flow going, but you don't mind. All right, here we go. Wait. All right, wait. Now, get me on the screen in the back there. You got me back? No, put me on the... One that's in the back there. Yeah, that one. Okay, ready? Nice. No more. No more. I'm trying to wind myself up. Because, you know, it's most important that I'm in the shot. Anyway, I'm glad that you're all so interested in technology. It's better than being interested in the other thing. What's the other thing? The thing that hurts people. You know, they have these big conventions. And people go to them and they buy things that that shoot. Oh. Okay. So this is really cool because this is expanding your mind. This is much. And you really, you know, a keyboard. I've never heard of a, you know, drive-by keyboard. No, that so doesn't seem to no. hurt as people as much. No. So. It's cool. All right. Wow. So you have any questions? We do. <laughs> no, 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 I got no, I'll close it. Oh, one of my favorite movies that you were involved with was uh, Gattaca. My favorite movie of all time. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's a, a really brilliant guy. And, uh, that was like uh, really a fantastic, lots of fun to do. Yeah. Ethan Hawke, you know, uh, Jude Law. It was a really, uh, it was a cool, uh, at, at the time when, when we did the movie, <coughs> It was like just, just the beginning of the research, you know, the genome research. Right. And yeah. That was all just, you know, kind of happening. And yeah, it kind of predicted the future of social media and stalking people online and finding out so much information about someone yeah. anytime you could. Well, I mean, like now it's, I guess it's, you know, the whole thing about you go to, a, if you go to an airport and you got to do all the, the craziness that we're forced to do because of some nuts who attacked us. Uh, now I think you can do a thing where you go, I mean, it sounds big brothery, but you can do a thumbprint or a, some kind of thing. You go in and you talk to the TSA and you can get a passport. So you don't have to do all of that stuff. Huh. Yeah, you just you bypass the whole thing. I think it's okay to do. I mean, like, it's, it's a lot of people will say, you know, you're getting controlled and you're, you know, but look, look where we are anyway. Yeah. Kind of. This is to have fun. That's yeah, sure. Tick tock, tick tock. It's one second closer to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a good time. Take care, everyone. Right. Yeah. What, what, what I'm most uh, amazed by is the sort of accessibility of filmmaking. You're a very accomplished filmmaker yourself. Everybody now who has a camera can be a filmmaker. Yes. What I mean, learn? I mean, the whole thing is study. Yeah. It's all uh, like a like gong. Okay. You know, like. Kung Fu Gong, Qi Gong, Feng Shui Gong, Gong is a yeah. study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a study. So everything you do is a study. Like you guys are learning how to do this. 
And the idea is that it's really cool that everybody can, uh, you know, take a take a crack at it. You know, like get their their cameras, uh, you know, their technology. You got your you got your uh, various ways to edit movies or things. You can take your home movies and make them. We used to like when I was a young man in uh, in New York. I had the, the Super 8 camera, and I always to. You know, my father was born in Brooklyn, and uh, I went to, I was born in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and uh, I went to New York, and when I got there, I, I did things like to to show him where I was. I, I would just shoot little snippets of uh, film, of, uh, you know, you get that little cartridge, send it in, you get it back. Then I got the little plastic rewinds, and I would, you know, you tape it, and you put the... The thing. And then you get a projector, and when you go back for a Thanksgiving or a holiday of some kind, you would show it to the family. You put a record on, you know, usually opera because he was a he liked the Verdi, and, and just show him like the city, you know. And you could do that. It's really a cool thing. I love that. Don't you think something's? Do you think something is lost? Because when I, I actually went to film school, I was the last generation that got taught to cut on a Steinbeck with the cut and splice, right? right? Steinbeck. Steinbeck. <laughs> you know, that famous joke, you know, the girl goes up for an audition, she says, um, she wants to sing, she goes, you say tomato, I say tomato, you say potato, I say potato, and the guy says, I, 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 thank you very much, uh, Miss Levine. She said, that's Levine. <laughs> Wait for the punchline. <laughs> okay, so what were you going to say? I'm saying, you know, do you think because people don't have to go through the trials and tribulations of develop, developing film anymore, how do you think that's affected? Wait, you didn't develop film yourself or in any way. I, you I sent it like do or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Somebody did it. Right. No, the only thing different, basically, well, there's a lot of things different. But and you know, aesthetically, whatever you feel when you look at it, you say, oh God, I look, look at, uh, you know, a, a David Lean movie or a Kubrick movie or, or you know. Sawa or whatever or the early film that we've made in this country, uh, and you go, that's my speed. I really love that. And, you know, the way it looks. But there, are, so there's lots of differences in terms of uh, personal aesthetics and stuff. But in terms of like you know uh, doing the task, you know, you still have to have a story, sure. which is like really important. Characters. The characters have to want something, and you can't short shrift that. So, okay, so now you've got it, you shoot it, and you, uh, you're you able to edit it, you know, in your bedroom or your closet or wherever you want, you know, or barefoot or naked or whatever. <laughs> you can do it yourself if you learn how to do the, you know, you, you're still a learning process. You know, whether it's a Steenbeck or a Steinbeck or a Tim <laughs> or a Moviola. I, I made movies, uh, I'm proud to say, on a, on a stand-up Moviola, which was what Orson Welles cut Citizen Kane on. I mean, it's not, you know, it's all about, it's basically about what's inside, you know. It's like the heart of it and whatever, what's going on, you know. And we're just moving with the flow. So you don't want to stop the flow. You can tamper with the other stuff. Still, I mean, my... Son just made a movie in New York uh, that uh, is about young Lincoln, like Abraham Lincoln as a young boy, and they shot it. They, they shot it on film. They were going to shoot it in black and white, but they couldn't really find a lab anymore, except for one in like I think Detroit somewhere, where they could send the 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 black and white footage. Duart doesn't do it anymore, and those people don't. So. So they, they shot in color and they're going to desaturate it and make it's a black and white movie. So but so you can still make those choices if you wish. But in terms of accessibility, I mean you know get that little camera, start shooting, you know, and cutting and putting it together, and you got Final Cut or you got Av uh, uh, Avid or you got whatever you use, you know, and you got all the tracks of sound and you got sound effects, blah blah blah. And, you can have some fun. Yeah, we're really embracing the digital age. We appreciate We're big fans of everything you do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. You most certainly can. As a, just <laughs> like, of course. You never leave on <laughs> uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you can check out Danny DeVito. You're going to be at a panel that our own Greg Sandoval is moderating. That's at the Panasonic booth in the Central Hall. 
Uh, he'll be moderating the panel with you and the CTOs of 20th Century Fox nice. and Panasonic. Nice. You getting psyched about that? I'm excited. Are we talking about? I'm excited to be here. All right. Well, we're excited to have you. We really appreciate you coming Thank on you. here. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.